Hello everyone. So, in today's lecture, we will discuss about the modified equation, artificial viscosity and numerical diffusion. So, first we will derive the modified equation. So, uh, now we will determine the dominant error term present uh, in the finite difference equation. Uh, first we will substitute the Taylor series expansion uh, in the finite difference equation then after arithmetic manipulation we will find the modified equation. To illustrate uh, this we, we will consider two examples. First we will consider uh, first order accurate scheme which is first order upwind and next we will consider second order accurate scheme which is your midpoint leapfrog method. So, these examples uh, will show the dominant error term and their relations with this numerical diffusion error. So, first let us consider the forward time backward space scheme which is your explicit scheme uh, first order upwind. So, we will consider F T B S ok this is your explicit scheme and or first order upwind ok. So, our governing equation is del phi by del t is equal to minus c by del phi by del x and c is the wave speed and which is greater than 0 ok. So, if you use uh, first order upwind scheme and discretize this equation what you will get? You will get phi i n plus 1 minus phi i n divided by delta t is equal to minus c phi i. So, backward space. So, it is phi i minus 1 n divided by delta x ok. So, you will get phi i n plus 1 is equal to phi i n minus c delta t by delta x and phi i n minus phi i minus 1 n ok. So, this is the finite difference equation ok, finite difference equation using first order upwind scheme and let us say that equation number is 1. Now, you use Taylor series expansion to expand phi i n plus 1 and phi i minus 1 n. So, use Taylor series expansion, Taylor series expansion okay, to expand phi i n plus 1 and phi i minus 1 n. So, phi i n plus 1 if you do then it will be phi i n plus del t del phi by del n plus del t square by factorial 2 sorry it is t del 2 phi by del t square plus del t cube by factorial 3 del cube phi by del t cube plus higher order term ok del t to the power 4 ok. Now, similarly we expand using Taylor series expansion the term phi i minus 1 n. So, phi i minus 1 n ok. So, it will be phi i n minus delta t del delta x del phi by del x plus delta x square by factorial 2 del 2 phi by del x square minus del x cube by factorial 3 del cube phi by del x cube and other higher order terms ok. So, now substitute this expansion uh, into the original F d ok. So, substitute the above expansions into equation 1 ok, equation 1. So, this is your equation 1 you substitute back. So, in the left hand side you substitute this one. So, you will get phi i n plus del t del phi by del t plus del t square by 2 del 2 phi by del t square plus del t cube by 6 del cube phi by del t cube plus higher order term and in the right hand side you have phi i n 
minus c delta t by delta x and you have phi i n minus phi i minus 1 n. So, this you substitute this one phi i minus 1 n. So, it will get phi i n minus delta x del phi by del x plus delta x square by 2 del 2 phi by del x square minus del x cube by 6 del cube phi by del x cube and other higher order terms. Okay. So, now you uh, do some arithmetic manipulation. Okay. So, you can see in the left hand side this phi n and this phi n will get cancelled. Then you can see inside this phi i n and this is minus phi i n. So, this will get cancelled. Okay. So, now you take delta t outside then you can write del phi by del t plus. So, it will be del t by 2 because we have taken outside delta t. So, del 2 phi by del t square plus delta t square by 6 del cube phi by del t cube plus order of del t cube because delta t we have taken outside. So, you can write delta t cube is equal to okay, there will be minus c delta t by delta x okay, which is your current number lambda and you have minus here. Okay. So, so, you can see this minus and this minus will become plus. Okay. So, it will become plus and you can take delta x outside and you can write minus del phi by del x plus del x by 2 del x by 2 del 2 phi by del x square minus delta x square by 6 del cube phi by del x cube and order of delta x cube. Okay. So, now both side you divide by delta t. Okay. So, you can see these will get cancelled. So, this delta t, this delta t and this delta x and this delta x will get cancelled. So, now you can write the equation as del phi by del t. Okay. Just after rearrangement, uh, you can write minus c del phi by del x okay. and minus c del phi by del x then will be. So, this is your minus del t by 2. So, this I am taking del 2 phi by del t square plus c del x by 2 del 2 phi by del x square minus. Okay, so, it will be this one I am taking. So, it will be delta t square by 6 del cube phi by del t cube okay. and this will be minus c del x square by 6 del 2 del cube phi by del x cube and order of del t cube del x cube. Okay. So, only in the left hand side we have kept del phi by del t and all other terms we have taken in the right hand side. Now, what we have to do? So, you can see here you have term del 2 phi by del t square and del cube phi by del t square. So, this you have to substitute in terms of special derivative. Okay. So, these time derivatives it is your second derivative and third derivative this you uh, substitute with special derivative. So, that you can so replace replace higher order time derivative
terms by special derivative. Okay. So, determine determine del 2 phi by del t square okay, with order of accuracy delta t square delta x square because overall accuracy we have to maintain del t cube and del s cube. So, this you obtain with this order of accuracy and del cube phi by del t cube with order of accuracy delta t and delta x okay, such that the order of accuracy order of accuracy okay, is uh, remains third order okay, remains third order remains third order. Okay. So, you can see uh, in the previous slide. So, this is your order of delta t cube and delta x cube that we have to uh, keep. So, to in order to keep this order of accuracy, this we have to discretize with the order of delta t square and delta x square and this we have to write in terms of special derivative which is order of delta t and delta x. Okay. So, this uh, derivation I am not going to show. So, you can refer some books. Uh, where you can find or you yourself you can uh, do this mathematical uh, 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 formulation. So, what you do? So, you have to take the time derivative of this equation and also the special derivative and with some rearrangement you can find this time derivative in terms of special derivative. So, that uh, derivation I am not going to show, I am just going to write the final expression uh, of this uh, time derivative in terms of special derivative. Okay, so, if you do that, so you will get del 2 phi by del t square, you will get c square del 2 phi by del x square plus c cube delta t minus c square delta x del cube phi by del x cube okay, which will be the order of delta t square delta x delta t and delta x square. Okay, similarly, you can show that del cube phi by del t cube will be minus c cube del cube phi by del x cube which is order of delta t delta x. So, now let us write whatever we derived in last slide. So, del phi by del t is equal to minus c del phi by del x minus delta t by 2 del 2 phi by delta t square plus c delta x by 2 del 2 phi by del x square minus delta t square by 6 del cube phi by del t cube minus c delta x square by 6 del cube phi by del x cube. Okay. So, now and order of delta t cube and delta x cube. Okay. So, now let us put this value del 2 pi by del t square as this one and this you put this one. Okay. So, now you can write del phi by del t is equal to minus c del phi by del x, we will keep it as it is. Now, del 2 phi by del t square. Okay. So, this you use this right hand side terms. So, it will be minus c square delta t by 2 del 2 phi by del x square. Okay. Then, you have minus again minus 
c cube delta t minus c square delta x and we have del t by 2 here. So, it will be del t by 2 del cube phi by del x cube. Okay. So, we are replacing the temporal derivative with the special derivative. Okay. Then next term you keep as it is. Okay. So, it will be c delta x by 2 del 2 phi by del x square. Okay. Now, this you replace with this term. So, it will be minus and this minus and this. Uh, so, this is minus and this is your minus. It will be become plus c cube delta t square divided by 6 del cube phi by del x cube okay. and this last term minus c delta x square by 6 del cube phi by del x cube. Okay. So, now re you rearrange it. So, you can see you have del 2 phi by del x square del 2 phi by del x square and here you have del cube phi by del x cube del cube phi by del x cube del cube phi by del x cube. Okay. So, you rearrange it and rearranging Okay, we can write. Okay, you can write del phi by del t. Okay, so minus c del phi by del x plus c delta x by two. If you take common, so it will be you see this term will be one and minus. Now you can see it will be c delta t by delta x. Okay. So, you can see it will be c square delta t by 2, okay. del 2 phi by del x square minus if you take c delta x square by 6 common, then you can write 2 into c square delta t square by delta x square minus 3 c delta t by delta x plus 1 into del cube phi by del x cube. Okay. So, now you can see that this term okay, you can replace with the current number current number. Okay. So, you can write lambda is equal to c delta t by delta x. So, this you just replace with lambda. Okay. So, if you write it then you will get del phi by del t is equal to minus c del phi by del x plus c delta x by 2 1 minus lambda okay, del 2 phi by del x square minus c delta x square by 6 2 lambda square minus 3 lambda plus 1 del cube phi by del x cube. Okay. So, you can see this is known as modified equation, this is known as modified equation. Okay. What is our original equation? The original PD is we started with del phi by del t is equal to minus c del phi by del x. Okay, so, carefully you look it. Okay. So, after substituting the Taylor series expansion into the finite difference equation. Okay, we got this equation which is known as modified equation. So, you can see that we started with the original PD del phi by del t is equal to minus c del phi by del x. Okay, so, this is your original equation. Then we use some uh, discretization scheme which is your first order appoint and we wrote the finite difference equation. Then when we substituted back the truncation error uh, sorry uh, Taylor series expansion 
into the finite difference equation we got this modifi modified equation and this modified equation is for the discretization scheme first order upwind. Okay. So, you can see that there are other terms are introduced. Okay. So, those are uh, you can see this is this term is there this is uh, additional term. So, these additional terms are introduced due to the finite approximation of the partial difference equation. So, this term okay, so you can see that uh, that uh, so dominating term of the error dominating term in the error is second term in the right hand side. Okay. So, you can see that the dominating term is this one. Okay. So, this is the dominating term and which contains the second derivative of phi del 2 phi by delta x square and uh, this del 2 phi by del x square what is the coefficient c delta x by 2 1 minus lambda and this coefficient is known as numerical uh, viscosity or artificial viscosity. So, this is your known as numerical viscosity or artificial viscosity artificial viscosity ok. So, the coefficient of del 2 pi by del x square is known as artificial viscosity and this term is if you write with alpha e is equal to c delta x by 2 1 minus lambda ok. So, the coefficient in the second derivative this term is known as artificial viscosity or numerical viscosity and this uh, is introduced uh, due to the truncation error of the finite difference uh, sorry uh, uh, it is introduced due to the truncation error of the uh, specific scheme first order up point. So, this uh, alpha e which is known as artificial viscosity that you can see that if lambda is equal to 1 then this is 0. So, for lambda is equal to 1 okay, you will get the exact solution okay. lambda is equal to 1 alpha e is equal to 0. So, the solution is exact solution is exact. Okay. And the effect of this artificial viscosity is to dissipate the solution. Okay. So, uh, whatever solution you have the gradient uh, uh, will be dissipated. Okay. So, this is the solution is exact and uh, the gradient will be reduced and uh, this is uh, actually gives the dissipation error. Okay. So, that we will discuss later. So, first we considered uh, first order appointment scheme and applied to uh, this partial differential equation uh, first order wave equation and in the process uh, we have found that there are some additional terms which is coming uh, due to the truncation error and the dominating error terms uh, is the second order derivative del 2 pi by del x square and its coefficient is known as artificial viscosity and the modified equation uh, for this approximation is given in this equation. Okay. Now, let us consider central difference central space okay, which is known as midpoint leapfrog method and let us find what is the modified equation and what is the leading uh, error term okay, or dominant error term. So, again we will consider explicit uh, scheme okay, C t central time central space uh, which is known as midpoint leapfrog method midpoint uh, leapfrog method ok. So, the equation will be phi i n plus 1 is equal to phi i n minus 1 minus c delta t by 
delta x ok delta x will be phi i plus 1 n minus phi i minus 1 n ok. So, we will uh, apply the similar similar procedure ok. So, we will expand this term, this term, this term and this term using Taylor series expansion and we will substitute back into this uh, finite difference equation. This is your finite difference equation ok. Let us say this equation is 2. Then uh, if you use the Taylor series expansion ok of phi i n plus 1 phi i n minus 1, phi i plus 1 n and phi i minus 1 n ok. So, you substitute it here. So, you will get. So, first term if you write. So, it will be uh, phi i n plus del t del phi by del t plus del t square by factorial 2. Uh, del 2 phi by del t square plus del cube phi by del t cube uh, then you will get del t cube by factorial 6 uh, sorry factorial 3 it will be 6 plus order of del t 4 ok. So, this is the first term then in the right hand side first term phi i n minus 1. So, similar way phi i n minus del t del phi by del t plus del t square by 2 del 2 phi by del t square ok minus del t cube by 6 del cube phi by del t cube ok and order of delta t to the power 4 ok minus c delta t by delta x then now special term ok. So, it will be phi i n plus del x del phi by del x plus delta x square by 2 del 2 phi by del x square then plus del x cube by factorial 3 which is 6 del cube phi by del x cube ok order of accuracy is del t del x del x to the power 4 ok and similarly minus phi i n. So, now you are substituting this. So, minus phi i n. So, it will be uh, minus minus plus. So, it will be delta x del phi by del x. Then it will be minus delta x square by 2 del 2 phi by del x square and again uh, uh, it will be um, plus uh, delta x cube by factorial c as uh, 3. So, del cube phi by del x cube and plus order of del x 4 ok. So, now uh, you just rearrange it. So, you can see that from here this phi n this phi n you can cancel then this phi i n phi i n ok this also will get cancelled ok. So, now the other terms uh, you can see here this term also will get cancelled ok. So, now if you rearrange it ok you will get del phi by del t is equal to minus c del phi by del x minus del q phi by del t cube del t square by 6 minus c del cube phi by del x cube del x square by factorial 3 means 6 and order of delta t 4 delta x 4 ok. So, after rearranging uh, you are going to get uh, this equation ok. So, you can see here uh, del phi by del t is there, here del phi by del t is there. So, after rearrangement you will get this equation. So, now this time derivative higher order time derivatives del 2 uh, del cube phi by del t cube you replace it with the special derivative ok. And already we have uh, so, uh, written uh, what is the expression. So, that 
if you find del cube phi by del t cube in terms of special derivative you will get del cube phi by del x cube. Okay. It is very easy to find this because you know del phi by del t is equal to minus c del phi by del x. Okay. So, you take uh, 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 this derivative del cube phi by del t is cube then you will get this one which is over of order of accuracy is delta t and delta x. So, now this uh, time derivative uh, in terms of special derivative you have written and this you substitute it in the equation. So, you are going to get del phi by del t is equal to minus c del phi by del x plus c delta x cube by 6 lambda square minus 1 del cube phi by del x cube and order of accuracy is delta t 4 delta x cube delta t and delta x 4. Okay. So, this is the modified equation okay, using uh, this midpoint leapfrog method. So, we have started with the equation del phi by del t is equal to minus c by c del phi by del x okay, which is your original p d. Okay. So, this is your original p d, but uh, while doing the uh, finite difference approximation. Okay, so, there are some errors introduced and you can see the leading order term in the error is third derivative del cube phi by uh, del x cube and its coefficient is this one. Okay, so, uh, obviously, you can see that uh, this will uh, having some effect. Okay, so, it is the third derivative which is your odd term and uh, the dominant term dominant error term is associated with del cube phi by del x cube okay, which is your odd derivative. Okay, so, now two examples uh, we have considered uh, one is uh, uh, first order appoint which is your first order uh, accurate scheme and this scheme is second order accurate scheme delta t square and delta x square. So, uh, this midpoint leapfrog method and in both the method we have shown the modified equation. Okay. So, there are some additional uh, terms are introduced due to the uh, truncation error and the leading order term in the first order uh, appoint scheme we have got the second derivative. Okay and the coefficient of the second derivative is your artificial viscosity. But when we considered this leapfrog midpoint leapfrog method, then the leading order term is associated with the third derivative which is your odd term. Okay. Uh, so, now uh, let us uh, discuss about the numerical diffusion error. So, this numerical diffusion uh, is a combined effect of uh, dissipation error and dispersion error. So, whatever numerical diffusion we are considering, numerical diffusion, okay. this is a combined effect of combined effect of dissipation error, dissipation error and dispersion error, dispersion error. Okay. So, before discussing about this dissipation and dispersion error, first let us write the modified equation what we derived using two different methods. So, one is first order appoint, another is your uh, CT uh, CS okay, uh, which is your uh, midpoint leapfrog method. So, if you write the equation modified equation modified equation. Okay. So, it is del phi by del t is equal to minus c del phi by del x plus c delta x by 2 
1 minus lambda del 2 phi by del x square minus c delta x square by 6 2 lambda square minus 3 lambda plus 1 del cube phi by del x cube okay. and using midpoint leap frog method we have derived this modified equation del phi by del t is equal to minus c del phi by del x plus c delta x cube by 6 lambda square minus 1 del cube phi by del x cube. So, now you can see that although our original equation is del phi by del t is equal to minus c del phi by del x, but during approximation some errors are introduced and the leading order term using first order appoint scheme is associated with the even derivative del 2 phi by del x square and leading order uh, uh, term uh, in the error of leap, midpoint leapfrog method is associated with third uh, derivative okay, which is your odd derivative. So, you can see that this is your leading order term in the error and this is your leading order term in the error and it is associated with you can see that it is even derivative ok second order uh, second derivative and this is your third derivative which is your odd derivative. So, this uh, even derivative actually uh, contributes in the dissipation error this term the leading order term will contribute in the dissipation error dissipation error. So, any uh, even derivative will contribute in the dissipation error and any even uh, odd derivative will contribute in the dispersion error. Okay. And here it is odd derivative, so it will also contribute in the dispersion error. So, we can write any even derivative, any even derivative terms in the expansion of truncation error, expansion of truncation error. contribute dissipation error dissipation of the solution and the odd derivative odd derivative terms contribute dispersion error. Okay, so, this is dissipation and this is your dispersion. So, from the modified equation you can see that this leading order term is even derivative. So, you will get dissipation error, but the other term is associated with the third derivative. So, it will be dispersion error and when we use the modified equation for the midpoint leapfrog method the leading term is associated with the even term. So, you will get sorry uh, associated with the odd term. So, you will get dispersion error okay. and combinedly this dissipation error and dispersion error are known as numerical diffusion. So, you can see in this equation okay, the numerical uh, uh, viscosity or artificial viscosity is only associated with the second derivative term. Okay. Uh, the coefficient associated with the their second derivative is known as artificial viscosity or numerical viscosity, but if you have the other higher order uh, even derivative, but that coefficient is not known as artificial viscosity, only the coefficient of second derivative is known as artificial viscosity, okay. but the other higher order terms uh, which are even that will contribute in the uh, dissipation error, okay. the, those will uh, actually contribute in the dissipation error, but the coefficient will not be artificial viscosity only 
the coefficient associated with the second derivative del 2 phi by delta x square is known as artificial viscosity and it will contribute to the dissipation error. So, let us say you have any uh, wave okay, and exact solution is uh, exact solution looks like this. Okay. So, this is one wave. Uh, so, the exact solution it uh, looks like this. So, if you use some discretization scheme where the leading term is associated with the event term, so it will uh, dissipative in nature. Okay. So, uh, you will get the solution. So, if this is your exact solution, but you will get the solution like okay so you can see that the this solution is dissipated okay so you this is is known as dissipation error dissipation error and leading term is even derivatives okay even derivatives okay so this is known as smearing okay smearing okay now if your leading order term is uh, odd then you will get dispersion error and the solution will look like is exact solution is this then you will get the solution some oscillation okay these are known as wiggles okay so you will get solution like this and this is your dispersion error dispersion error and these are known as wiggles and leading term is associated with the odd derivatives. So, if you use leapfrog midpoint leapfrog method then you will get solution like this and if you use first order point scheme then you will get the solution uh, like this in the uh, and you will get the dissipation error and similarly um, uh, if you take another wave like this which is your exact solution okay but if you get dissipation error your solution may look like so this is your exact solution and this is your exact solution But if you get dissipation error, your solution will be like this. Okay. So, this is your dissipation error and dispersion error you will get So, you will get solution like this. So, this is your dispersion error okay. and this is your dispersion uh, dissipation error. Okay. So, uh, today uh, we will we have derived the modified equation uh, for two different methods one is first order point and leapfrog uh, midpoint leapfrog method and we have shown that the leading order term uh, in the error uh, of this first order point scheme is associated with the second derivative and its uh, coefficient is known as artificial viscosity. And this uh, even derivative always uh, contributes in the dissipation error. Then we considered uh, in the modified equation uh, of this leap, uh, midpoint leapfrog method uh, 
the leading order term is associated with uh, uh, odd derivative and this odd derivative contributes in the dispersion error and uh, this combined effect of dissipation error and dispersion error uh, okay, is known as numerical diffusion. Thank you.